All right, so today we're taking a look at the PC port of The Last of Us Part 1. Now, this is being ported by Iron Galaxy, and they have a reputation for notoriously uh, bad PC port, and they certainly live up to their name in this one. Now, I have not been able to proceed with the game as much as I would like due to uh, the multiple crashes uh, that I experience. And with my system, it is very rare uh, that I encounter crash. It's extremely rare, but uh, I've experienced numerous crashes with this game in just the first uh, few hours of the game. Now, the game does support ultra-wide, 21 by 9 and 32 by 9 and it also gives you an option uh, if you want to pillar box it or run it natively in 21 by 9 during cutscenes and gameplay, uh, although it gives you a warning saying there might be some sort of uh, artifacts on the side if you enabled, uh, if you turn off pillar box. So that's a nice option for anybody who wants it. Now, if you're just excited to boot up the game and play, you will be uh, in for a surprise uh, because it will. Um, compile shader which is fine but uh, it will take a very long time uh, even with my system if you're curious uh, it's in the description uh, it took about 18 minutes to finish the process so if you have a mid-range system it will take even longer uh, I've read somewhere it could be up to an hour for a certain system so plan ahead and grab yourself some dinner or grab a shower because it will use a uh, hundred percent of your CPU power uh, while it's doing its process. Now while the game is compiling shader, you can pl mess around with the uh, the menus and it is very impressive how many options there are in the menu. Uh, it, they went I think really above and beyond just giving you pretty much all the options that you can think of and it's pretty neatly laid out with pictures and a nice description of how each option will impact your system things like that so all games should be doing that but unfortunately that's where it stops uh, with the port because everything else is incredibly poor from the performance to the controls now if you play Uncharted 4 which is also ported by Iron Galaxy you know that there's that mouse issue when you're panning the camera and it stutters like micro stutters well that is also present in this game so unfortunately they still have not learned anything from their port uh, Uncharted 4. Now that took about an entire month for them to get that fixed. So really at this point it is very inexcusable to have the same issue uh, in a brand new port. Especially as big as The Last of Us. So if you were really looking forward to picking up this game, I would definitely wait on it um, until they release a couple of patches to address the performance and the mouse issue. And if you're on Steam, I would uh, recommend refunding it um, if you have not crossed that two hour mark because uh, at this point it is very inexcusable for these kind of ports nowadays, especially a AAA game that's uh, asking for uh, $60. And with their recent track record Uncharted 4, how long it took them to release patch to address the mouse issue, I would definitely refund it if uh, you're not happy with the product. Now when it comes to the gameplay and the graphic, it's a little bit underwhelming, especially coming right off of uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake and how impressive that game look and runs. Uh, this game feels and looks a little dated, um, even though it is running on the updated engine um, Last of Us Part 2. I think Last of Us Part 2 on the PS5 looks even better. Alright, that does it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all next one. Take care for now. Bye.